Here's what really happened at RDC. It's September 7th. I wake up at 4.30 a.m. I get packed, I get ready, and I leave my house around 7 a.m. for a flight that's at 9 a.m. Reasonable time. LAX is about an hour from my house. Turns out there was so much traffic and I arrived to LAX 30 minutes before. My flight departs. I almost missed my flight and I was stressing out. Luckily, I boarded, but I was the last to board. I arrive in San Francisco and I go to collect my luggage, you know, like any normal person does. It wasn't there because I checked in late. It didn't make it on the flight. So in my head, I was stressing out. I'm like, nothing's going right. I almost missed my flight. There was so much traffic and I can't find my luggage. <sighs> Later on, I got the luggage. Thank God. I check into my hotel, get settled in my room, and I change into my outfit for the first day, I guess that's what you want to call it. And I head to the convention for early badge check-in and that day I did have rehearsals for my panel on Saturday. Rehearsals went well, everything went smoothly and I met up with a few people. I met up with Steak, I met up with Redibles and I met up with Creek and all the people. You got the gist. Not much happened that day. On to September 8th, which is the first official day of RDC. I get to the convention and there was a woman's breakfast that I attended and then we also headed to the keynote where David talked about all the new updates coming to Roblox. Personally, I like the updates coming. I mean, a lot of people don't, but that's your opinion. We all have opinions. David talked about how Roblox is coming to PS4 and 5. He talked about a new avatar editor where you upload a picture of your face and it makes you an avatar that looks like you. Also that if you're 17 plus and you're verified in those 17 plus experiences, you can online date and form real life relationships. I mean, weren't people already kind of doing that? Whatever. David doesn't need to know. David also talked about how you can call people from Roblox. There's a lot of other updates as well, but those are the ones that stuck out to me. After RDC ended that day, which was around 3.30 to 4 p.m.-ish, there was an influencer party at like 6 p.m. But before that, I went out to eat with steak, Boucha, Bella, all these people. It was so much fun. The food was delicious. After that, we went to the influencer party, which had boba, mini golf, and arcade games. We also filmed a TikTok there with Bella, Steak, and Creek. I actually made Creek dance, and I was like, okay, he actually listened and danced. Oh. I mean, look at him, he's all. <laughs> I was shocked. <laughs> Thank you, Greek. Now here is where the drama starts. Saturday, September 9th, it all went downhill from here. In the morning at 10 a.m., I had a panel. Sabrina Bright was on there from RB Battles, and we also had Jesse from Adopt Me and Redibles from Doors. The panel went amazing, I loved it. After the panel, I met up with Steak, Creek, and Ibella, and a bunch of other people, and they did an arm wrestle, and I, I thought Creek was gonna win, and he did, sorry, Steak. We then headed to the pier, and we wanted to originally see seals, but we kinda got distracted with a million other things. One of the things was we got all a Build-A-Bear. If you guys wanna help me name the bear, go for it. Comment down below the name. After Build-A-Bear, we all were heading out. We were leaving the pier and a security guard stops us. And I'm sure you guys know what happens after this. And we got in a taxi and left, but it was honestly pretty scary because if you guys were watching that stream, you know what happened. I'm not gonna go into detail about it, but all of our hearts kind of stopped. We headed to the hotel and then I got into an Uber and went to the convention, did a video with David Bazuki. Oh my God. Nothing. And I took a picture with him because like, who wouldn't want a picture with the CEO of Roblox, David Bazuki? We are RDC, the Roblox Developers Conference. We are here with the David Bazuki. So how are you liking it this year? It's absolutely amazing. It's sunny. We're in San Francisco. We have over a thousand creators, developers. I said in my keynote, it's arguably the most creative gathering of people in the world today. Do you have anything else to say? Just been surprised at the creativity of the whole community. Spoken to some educational creators, which is really exciting. Spoken to some really awesome brand partners that are showing up. And of course, the influencer community is always so fun. Of course. Woo! RDC! Yay, having a great time. Thank you. After my video with David, I then got my free MetaQuest. This honestly was a shock to me. I did not think they would be giving out. These are a thousand bucks. I did not think they would give this out for free. I'm still in shock right now. I haven't even opened it. After I got my MetaQuest, I ended up heading to rehearsals for the Innovation Awards. That took about like two and a half, almost three hours. It was a lot. After the rehearsal, I was walking out of the convention and I saw like six cop cars and I was like, what just happened? I, you know, I thought it was just extra security measures, but no. Apparently someone got arrested. I'm not gonna list names, but someone got arrested for having something in their car. I don't want to say stuff and be wrong about it, but it was all over Twitter. And I was just like, Oof but I'm gonna go get ready for the Innovation Awards. So I head back to the hotel room, I'm all ready, and I'm stressing out reading the script. 
This is the Innovation Awards card. This is my souvenir, very special. But I was like, okay, I have to say this, and that, I'm stressing out. I was also eating a piece of toast while reading it while waiting for my Uber. As I'm about to exit out of the Uber, I get a call from Roblox, and they're like, Lana, we have decided to call off the awards. I was like, what? Are you joking? No, we're not joking, this is serious. What? I was so sad and mad and so many emotions were going through my head because I'm like, I was just reading the script, I'm nominated and all these different things were just like rushing through my head. And I was like, ah. And then I saw everyone waiting outside and I'm like, oh my God, this is legit. I thought they were pulling a prank on me, but I'm like, who would pull a prank that the awards are canceled? So after that, I was very sad. And then I went back to the hotel, met up with everyone, we ended up trying to make the best of the night. We went to a steakhouse. That steakhouse was literally a club. There was so much going on, so much good music. The food was delicious and everyone was pretty bummed out. But in the end, things happen for a reason. And obviously that was supposed to happen for who knows what reason. We may not know now, but we'll know in the future. I believe in that. It still is very disappointing, but we tried to make the best out of it. Went to dinner, had a party after. It was fun. The next morning, September 10th, I head home and everything kind of just hit me all at once. I'm like, wow, everything was just a roller coaster at RDC. And you know, the main part of the event didn't even happen. So it's kind of a bummer, but David Bazuki did send out this message. Hey, this is Dave Bazuki. I'm at Roblox HQ and I'm reaching out to everyone who was gonna participate in the Roblox Innovation Awards. It's a bummer we didn't have them, but we are gonna figure out a way to have an alternate. And I wanted to share my appreciation to all of you for your creativity, for of course your innovation and for your tenacity. We have the world's most amazing creative community. I had the most awesome time at RDC meeting all of you. And I look forward to seeing you next year. And I look forward to seeing you all at our alternate innovation awards. Thank you all for everything you do and for your help in powering Roblox. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I mean, it sounds like an IRL event or a stream, which I personally think it's gonna be a stream, but I would like it to be an IRL event. But that was pretty much RDC. It was just one big roller coaster. 